Well, hello, dear Scorpio. Welcome to your December 2019 General Psychic Tarot Reading. Can you believe, Scorpios? We are at the end of the year and at the end of the decade. It's really, it's incredible. We are about to step into 2020, which is ushering in a new decade. So this year, this December month that we're in, in wrapping up the year is especially powerful and speaks of transition. We're setting the stage for the next 10 years, Scorpio. So I hope you Scorpios are well. Share with me your thoughts and feelings in the comments below. Of course, we're going to start with the astrological forecast of the month. See the energy that's going on in the sky. And I'm shuffling your tarot messages out. So the good news is, starting off here, Scorpio, is that Mercury is direct again. <sighs> Not every Mercury direct is heavy, but this last one for me, technological issues were a theme and communication delays, especially with work and career related things were a theme for me. So would love to hear your thoughts and what did or didn't happen for you. But the good news is, is it's moving forward again. And we can now use the knowledge that we gained from that reflective period and initiate our next steps much more easily. So on the 12th of December, we'll have the Gemini full moon. And so this is beautiful. It's an energy that's a lot more playful and it has to do more with intellectual pursuits and specifically what is intellectually joyful to you, Scorpio. What brings you pleasure when it comes to learning and intellect? So that'll be a nice energy there. On the 21st, we'll have the sun entering Capricorn and the winter solstice. So, of course, this is a power day. And it'll be fairly complimentary to you, Scorpio. You know, it's an earth sign. It's opposite yet complimentary. On the 25th slash 26th, depending where you are in the world, uh, will be the new moon in Capricorn and the solar eclipse. So as you see, Scorpio, the sky is already telling us and speaking of big transitionary energies and periods that solar eclipse with the new moon in Capricorn it might be a little bit more of a heavy energy, especially as it comes to comes to eclipse energy. So a little bit more heavy. Going, going a little deeper into the dark, damp earth, if you will. So it'll be an interesting energy and an interesting one to happen on the holidays. So happy Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy Yule to all of those of you out there, whatever it is you celebrate. It's a magical time of year, no matter what specific beliefs you have. So, without further ado, Scorpio, let's get more messages from the tarot. I am doing another concise reading this month. But before I get into your tarot messages and all that, a couple of announcements. If you want to view the 2020 prediction videos that are coming out for all signs, including yours, of course, then subscribe to my OnlyFans.com page. The link is below in the descriptions box, of course. There'll be all kinds of new extra videos I'll be offering on that platform, but starting with the 2020 prediction videos for your sign, and you'll be able to interact with me twice a month live, and I'll draw you one to two cards live for whatever question and whatever query you have at that moment in time. So, you know, I'm just really excited about, I found this platform and I was like, oh wow, this is an affordable 
platform to offer you guys that supports you, supports me, and you get extra stuff. So there you have it. And last announcement, Scorpio, the goddess moon totem necklaces are up here on my Etsy shop. Link is below as well, of course. I'm wearing the green adventuring, so it's especially good for the heart chakra, but there are five other natural stones that you can choose from. So there you have it. Let me get a drink of water real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna draw you a rune stone here, Scorpio. All right, overall theme showing up in the runes is Therosaz. Therosaz, also known as the Hammer of Thor. Mm, I love it. With your cards and Therosaz showing up here, it speaks primarily of good luck. Ooh, I just got goosebumps. Good luck and good fortune starting with whatever, especially whatever new project, new adventure that you have going for you, that you are initiating, that you're starting Scorpio, that you have thought of, that you plan on starting. There's so much good fortune and good luck associated with it. I say that because your first card is the fool. So as you see, simply from the archetypal imagery here, that it's about starting and initiating a new adventure. So whether that's in your work, with a book you're writing, with your pursuits in the job place, looking for a raise, looking for a promotion, some other creative pursuit, whatever it is, Scorpio. Now's a good time to launch. Now's a good time to begin. You know, we're at the end of the year, but we're about to go into a new year. So whatever it is you're cooking up, the freedom that is associated with this, I feel like there's just, there's a beautiful amount of freedom that comes with this. Perhaps whatever you're working on and wanting to initiate and push forward here, either at the end of December or in the new year, has a beautiful sense of freedom surrounding it. So it could mean financial freedom, it could mean more creative freedom, more personal freedom, more freedom of time, whatever it is, Scorpio. It could be all of those things. It looks so fortunate. And not just because we have Thursas showing up here, but you also have another major arcana card, the sun. The sun. Especially with this energy combined, it's all about fortune and favor. You have favor on this journey, on this adventure, on this new launch. The sun, uh, I'm getting goosebumps again. <sighs> The sun is giving you favor. And not just favor, more specifically, you are getting more exposure. There's something that is evolved for you, evolving for you in December that is going to help give you exposure. You know, check your rising and moon sign as well, Scorpio. Because that could give you a little bit more in-depth information, especially since I'm doing concise readings. But I do feel like Sagittarius season, especially combined with the Gemini full moon on the 12th, is going to really usher in this experience or some knowledge about this new experience you are having or about to have. <sighs> it's beautiful. And even specifically, because we do have the Sun card here showing up, and the Sun transitions into Capricorn on the 21st. So definitely after, like the full moon and after the full moon, so after the 12th, the 12th and after the 12th, 
I feel like is when you can really see some progression change that favor and feel that good luck and good fortune that is shining upon you. So like I said, there's a little bit more exposure that's coming from this. It could be a fire sign helping you out with that exposure, helping put you or your work in the spotlight. So Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. We are in Sagittarius season. This is a Leo card, so it could be Sagittarius or Leo specifically. But Scorpio. Mm. And you have this, it's like, I feel like a lot of you Scorpios, even though you're a fixed sign, and I get it, I'm a fixed sign too. Even though we have this tendency as a fixed energy to want to stand tall, stand firm, build foundations, and you know, there's more of that like set sort of principle with fixed signs. There's a willingness here to shift, to change, to step into this new soul purpose just came through here with this energy. It's like some of you Scorpios, your sole purpose is changing, but you're, I feel like most of you Scorpios are really excited about it. You're willing, you're willing for this change. You might even be energetically, magically willing this change to come about. So be prepared because it's coming. And with Thurasas here, it can come quickly, suddenly. But I feel like it's a good quickening and hastening energy. I do. I feel like overall there's a positive energy for you Scorpios. So like I said, check your rising and moon sign, but also I'll be offering more in-depth information. Don't forget, subscribe to my OnlyFans.com page. Link is below. The 2020 predictions will be there. So a little bit more information. You can interact with me live. I'll be doing two live videos a month over there. So you'll have the chance to get a reading from me live. All that lovely stuff. Scorpio, if you just want to do an in-depth personal reading with me, get more answers with this or another subject you can still contact me through my Etsy shop, which of course is where these lovely moon goddess Huda necklaces are. But overall, there you have it, Scorpio. Let me know your intuitive thoughts and everything in the comments below. And I shall converse with you and see you again soon. Take care.